So, um, as I said, you know, you have to be motivated by yourself. You have to be motivated to want to meet people. Right? So, um, being a professional, there's a way of being connected to the people in your life. It's always a personal effort to get to meet people and get to talk to them and find out what's wrong with them. Of course, at the hour, we tend to give more advice to people and also share our ideas. Without my connection to you, then it's difficult for me to stay open but then I lost connection with my good clients. And with that in mind, what I do is I try to stay constantly with my current events in history so that uh, you know, I have an idea of what's going on in the community and what's the move for me to do. Um, this is the job fair. In the community, uh, what's going on with and, um, transportation, uh, locations, uh, what's the new business that's about to, to be the biggest or the most exciting part of it. I just opened up the Buffalo on the 25th Street, which is now one of the, one of the more exciting places to go in the NY sports. I like to, to keep myself in the rest of sports, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, and what that does, they have to be able to communicate with the people that come in. You know, you got people that like all kinds of sports. You uh, have uh, politicians who uh, uh, like to talk about this politics, and, um, you know, legal affairs, particularly about what's going on in the black community. You know, their treatment um, of uh, uh, African-Americans, Latino-Americans, you know, are we getting a fair share, things like that. And we have to elaborate on that. And probably the question I'm thinking about it, uh, we talk to senators, congressmen, uh, you kind of see their colors in my show. They introduce themselves, and I get to know who they are, I get to know who I am, and who they are. And then we continue to have that connection. Uh, if there's any issue that will arise, I'll make it just an issue to one of them. And then they can be able to take it further for me. Uh, if they're my voice. And if you're a business owner, it helps a lot. Uh, they get a little more recognition in the community. And they realize that without you, then they won't know what's going on for me. Barbershops are the number one resource of social connection. So I'm blessed and I feel that I'm very grateful to give God a word of word because without him I won't be able and I'm able to, to uh, continuously be open to everyone in the community. And that's my goal, that's my job is to be able to connect with people and be in existence. So I want to be um, a long term business. Okay, and, uh, I like to leave a legacy. I have a wife and children. And I like to leave a legacy for my children. So I'm going to have some major corporations. They are open for 15, 100 years. I like to have a master to be open 100 years. At the 100th year anniversary one day, but maybe my son, my grandson, you know, standing out front or even being interviewed by someone in your life, saying, you know, I'm not going to around for so long. And if they take on it also, you know, it takes to do it. But um, last but not least, um, what business is achieving for you most the most the firm? Business achievement yes. is that I run a successful business with I have eight more chairs. I would say my most proud achievement was at one time I had fifty barber chairs and salon chairs. Used to be a barber shop and salon, but I had the 
step back. I had to cut back on it because uh, it really didn't work as great as I wanted to, not for the long term. It worked for a short period of time, which was great, and that short period of time was, was a, a moment of history because I had eight barbers and I had black, ten barbers, I had five politicians that actually came together. Not only, and that's what's about it. It's about being able to bring people together and everyone can mesh and, and respect one another's space, right. one another's opinion and ideas. And it also uh, shows that we as black business owners can have a good moment in that way. And that's what I had to do. I had to move my team to. Landlord changes. Landlord change. You know, they request for different things. And so you have to do And that's what they did. The process, the space that I got. I had a space that was bigger than this at one time. And I wanted to accommodate all the people. So I'm the greatest achievement of being successful. Is being successful as a business owner here in Harlem. In Harlem. Okay. And I love being in Harlem. My wife is in Harlem. And I am Harlem. So this is the record. So you will know. This is Paul Green. Let me thank you. My pleasure, Mr. Tony. Hopefully, you're Yes, indeed. Please do. Street 5. Street 5, Max Wright.